Hi everyone, Audra Starkey here. I just wanted to, I guess, pop in uh, very quickly and, and just, I guess, have a little bit of a, a download of, of something that's been, I guess, simmering around in my headspace uh, for a while now. Uh, and it's in relation to how, you know, a lot of people probably feeling right now are feeling quite stressed and frazzled and overwhelmed uh, because it's certainly been very interesting times that we've been living in um, in the last 21 months or so for, you know, a plethora of different uh, reasons. And, and one thing that has really hit me that I've noticed the most is that human behavior or observing human behavior that there is certainly uh, a lot more feelings of um, angst and friction and toxicity that is spiraling, spiraling around at the moment which is not uh, you know exactly a, a nice sort of uh, place to sort of be associated with or or be uh, in that that kind of uh, environment and I, I wanted to just share a little tip that uh, I've implemented myself uh, to help to offset that uh, and it's something that I even did in my uh, own workplace you know many years ago I'll, I'll which I'll touch on again in a second um, but it is actually um, it, it's it's about putting up an, an invisible bubble around yourself um, to help to protect yourself from any uh, negativity or uh, you know just feelings of um, uh, you know unrest that make you might make you feel unsettled you now whether this is in your workplace or whether it's just uh, sadly when you're just going about day to day doing your you know your your activities because as I said um, this is something that I implemented in my workplace uh, you know many years ago when we had a sort of a change of uh, manager and everything kind of turned upside down so the workplace became quite quite toxic and I'm just sort of feeling that uh, certainly and, and I've sort of certainly been feeling it on and off and it really feels like it's starting to escalate even more at the moment uh, because you know people have different opinions about different things and people you know feel that they can verbalize and say things to people uh, whether it's online or offline that they kind of wouldn't ordinarily have done you know uh, prior to uh, you know 21 uh, months ago and uh, as I said so it is literally about putting your uh, imagining yourself um, in this invisible bubble that literally like puts a bit of a, a force field around you to protect you from any uh, you know toxicity or negativity that you know that you can sort of feel uh, around you whether it's you know so as soon as you're going into work you're thinking oh my god it's going to be like it's it's just going to be a it's going to be a rough uh, shift at work uh, I know that it's going to be quite stressful uh, you know maybe for because for a variety of, of different reasons there's not much many staff on uh, and the type of conversations that are that are happening within the public now are certainly testing now all of us or even if you're just kind of going into uh, a shop or something it, it, you literally as I said um, just kind of imagine yourself in this bubble putting up a bit of an imaginary force field around you to protect yourself to keep you in this uh, environment where you feel safe you feel protected and you're not going to um, be I guess uh, more likely or prone to you know those, those sort of negativity uh, uh, feelings and you know what it is not from some randomized controlled blind study uh, you know a scientific paper that has been proven to show that this works but you know what I've done it myself I use it myself and it works what it does it certainly works for me and I know that it has helped uh, you know some of my clients uh, and also uh, for those of you who uh, may have bought my book uh, because I do actually mention it uh, in the stress chapter uh, of my book uh, Too Tired to Cook. I had no idea when I wrote it back then uh, that it would actually apply so much to what we you know what we're seeing and what we're experiencing today because there certainly needs to be um, more kindness in the world uh, 
that is that is for sure and sort of treating each other with more respect and more dignity, appreciating everybody's different opinions and different truths, uh, I think is critical at this particular moment in time because many things are sort of unfolding uh, both in front of us and I'm sure many things are also unfolding behind the scenes um, that is going to uh, basically, uh, as we evolve through a lot of different changes uh, moving forward, certainly, uh, you know, moving into 2022. Anyway, I just wanted to come on very quickly and share that it's it's been in the back of my mind and I've been wanting to kind of come on and talk about it for a while. Um, so I thought, you know what, today's the day. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I hope that that's just got something for you to think about. You know, as I said, if you feel like you're in an environment where you might be going to get overwhelmed or you feel like you might be getting, you know, or uh, not literally, but, uh, you know, feel like you're getting, you know, daggers or things thrown at you or something, as I said, just put up this imaginary force field uh, and, you know, see how you go. See if it works. You might be surprised. All right. See you next time.